Hello and welcome to Simply Solo Playthroughs. Today is our top five for the month of September with a bonus. So, let's take a look. The bonus is the game Dominion. This is a multiplayer game and I played it this past month quite a few times with my daughter. And the reason I'm bringing this game up is not because it's so great. It's a deck builder. It's a solid deck builder. Lots of stuff. Lots of combos. Stuff going on. But the thing that got me was the inside. Look at how these cards are stacked. There is... It comes with extra things so you can... Go on ahead and label everything. This is just fantastic. I am so impressed with this. Fancy flight, please take note. Just saying. This was a fun game. Enjoyed playing with my daughter and her husband. But the thing that impressed me the most was how the cards are stored in the box. This is just great. Fantasy Flight, I'm looking at you to learn some lessons here. Okay, let's go to number five. So, if you have been following along, you'll notice that my lunchtime game this month has been Antinomy. Or Antinami. This is a great button shy game. It is definitely a puzzler that has you moving back and forth in time. Based on what you need to do. And of course it has also been updated with a game called uh, Miss Cannon. Which I just got in the mail. So looking forward to playing that this month. But this is a really fun game. I really enjoy this. It takes time to play. And makes you think. And it's perfect lunchtime game. Because it will play in less than 15 minutes. So Antenomy number 5. And game number 4 is Hostage Negotiator, the game where they infuse the dice with hate before they leave manufacturing. Oh, wow, that's actually the best roll I think I've ever had. Yeah, this game, the dice hate you. There is no other way to point it. You play a Hostage Negotiator, you need to free uh, your hostages before time runs out has the countdown timer of 10 terror cards. This is a great game. I, this is, I love this game. So I hope you take a look at it, enjoy it, and let's go to number three. Game number three is Welcome to Reckoning. This actually sat on my shelf of shame for several months, ever since I got it in the mail from Kickstarter. So I don't think this game is available except for if you buy it used. And this is a fun puzzly game. You need to get a match of four of a kind. And you need to have the wagon at the warehouse. And it can't be on fire. You can't have it. Any of the tentacles which will be there. And it's just a lot of moving parts. It's a lot of fun, easy to play game. Welcome to Reckoning. This is my th number three game for the month of September. And number two for the month of September is Final Girl. Final Girl is a great game. Again, the dice don't like you in this game. Also made by Van Ryder. Same people who made Hostage Negotiator. So they use the same dice and they infuse everything with hate before it leaves. That's the only thing I can explain why the dice hate you so much. But this is such a good game. Well designed. Everything is put together perfectly. Uh, which I find really impressive. And of course you have two different boxes. One for the poltergeist. One for creature manor. You have special rules. Just the whole nine yards. Everything comes together so good in this game. 
So, final girl, number two. So what is number one? Put your guess down in the comments. So our number one game is two games, Star Wars, the deck building game, the Clone Wars edition, and the regular edition. Such a great game. I enjoy this. It is a lot of fun, good mechanics, and of course it has great artwork. And if you're a Star Wars fan, how can you not like it? So if, of course you can use the Leader's Edition with the Clone Wars version. The only thing you have to figure out how to deal with is, of course, Jar Jar Binks. And if you watch this playthrough, I showed how I deal with him on... It just move, he constantly moves back and forth, regardless of anything else. So, Jar Jar is the only kind of weird thing in here. Everyone else runs just like normal. You have the Republic shuttles, you have Separatist shuttles, battle droids, Jedi Knights, clone troopers, the whole nine yards. This is a great version of Star Wars, the deck building game. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a comment, let me know what your favorite game for the month of September was, and I'll see you at the table. Please like and subscribe.